Greetings, Earthlings! Little update from the bear cave. Get it, grizzly, bear, bear, grizzly. Okay, serious, serious time. Here is the keyboard tray flippy thing that I made yesterday. It's a piece of 18 gauge and machined up some bitchin' little uh, end pieces and got out the TIG welder and got nasty with the TIG, man. Why won't this focus? So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna try out this keyboard. Tested it out on my computer uh, upstairs that I use every day and um, seemed to work okay. It's not any shittier than my uh, laptop, so. Anyways, yeah, that's the that's the plan for here, and uh, it it's gonna you know pivot, close up, and the screen the screen mount, which I'm actually working on over here, is the same same idea, and this is basically uh, what I start out with was uh, just some flat bar, and, uh, and then I machine it down a bunch and. Do a little cutting and grinding on uh, the sheet metal and then uh, drill some holes and then do rosette welds with the uh, with the TIG and the uh, outcome is burn burn free, bondo free, grind free, you know, touch it up with a file and uh, hit it with some 220 and it's ready for the show. So we'll go uh, we'll go check out the x-axis linear rails so yeah everything is alive and well hunky dory Here's the saddle after machining. Turned out pretty cool. We were able to achieve our goal of leaving the table at almost the same height as the factory dovetails. I think we ended up maybe 125 thousandths above, um, which is okay. You know, to there really was no point to try to get back to the original number the only point or the only reason we originally uh, kept that in mind was because i built all of the um, fluff around the table all of the covers and the you know the pans and stuff so if i would have drastically changed the height of the table you know all of that stuff would have sort of had to been redone so that was the idea behind that and we were able to, able to achieve that and uh you know leave pretty respectable amount of material on the saddle you know for what it is and considering so all in all I'm super stoked on it and it looks like uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome so uh, I don't see how it could be anything but an upgrade uh, from the factory dovetails I'm gonna show you this thing you know sliding here in a, in a second um, you know, granted, I've never used a Grizzly or any sort of Chinese equipment with dovetails. So, you know, just bigger, you know, American iron. So, it'd be interesting to uh, see, see how it all works. Exciting. So, enough rambling. Let me show you how um, this, the cars mount to the saddle. You're probably curious. They mount from the bottom. So, the screws come through the Y-gib. This is a little bit of a, a unique situation. Um, I don't know if anyone else has done this when not, you know, do all X, Y, and Z. Um, so 
This is how you put, this is how we put linear rails on the x-axis of a Grizzly GO704 and retain the factory dovetails. So this is the table, you can see the rails on there. I'm gonna put the saddle on for you and you can see that the saddle snuggles right over the cars. Uh, we did the same thing on the z-axis when we did those linear rails and you know it uh, it seems to work and it looks pretty awesome so let's drop I don't have all the hardware I just got um, I got to get some funny uh, I guess not funny but it's like a rebated uh, a rebated head cap screw for um, the screw that passes through um, where the gib Y gib adjusting screw goes. Uh, it needs to be a little bit low profile, and McMaster just so happens to have the fastener. So we don't even need to put her on the in the drill and run it up against the grinder. She makes it off the shelf part, matey. Cracking. So yeah, you can see that they swizzle right on there. I think the most difficult part of uh putting the cars on the x-axis here was figuring out your holes and how to uh, reference and get some sort of uh, repeatable numbers once you get the saddle up in the machine and you're actually poking holes in things. But Stew Man worked his cowboy Millerite magic and it is a sight to behold as a very popular person once said, tremendous! So, here we are. They're just, it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, they're incredibly smooth and there's no binding. Like, I ran the, the test indicator down them and it took like five minutes to get them aligned. And, uh, you know, the, the saddle's got a nice, you know, preload. Like, it doesn't, there's no... Uh, but there's no binding. So, all in all, two thumbs way up. At least at this point in time. I'll report back later. <laughs>